Ever use ChatGPT to write an email or mid journey to generate images? That's generative AI. But what if I told you there's another kind of AI that can plan, act, and learn all by itself? Like a virtual assistant that doesn't wait for your command. That's agentic AI. And it's not a science fiction, it's already here. Alright, so here's what we are covering in this video. What exactly Gen AI is and why is it great for creating things like text, images and code. What makes agentic AI different, how it takes action and works on its own. The key differences between the two in the very simple way. Real world examples will actually relate to and how these two AIs can work together to shape the future. And by the end, you'll understand what each type of AI actually does, how they're changing the world in very different ways, when to use, which one, and why it matters to your future. So let's get started. So first, let's understand what is generative AI. Now imagine you're working with a really smart artist who can paint, write, compose music, or even code for you. But only if you tell them exactly what to do. Now, that's called generative AI. It will wait for your input. Let's say you type a prompt like write me a story about a detective, squirrel in New York, and boom, it writes it. Why? Because it's trained on huge data sets and it uses pattern it has learned to generate new content that is text, images, music, or even the videos. Let's look at some popular tools. So first up, we've got this ChatGPT, which is best for text. And I'm pretty sure you guys must be using this tool now. Next up, we've got this DALI and MidJourney, which is great for creating images. And then we've got GitHub Copilot, which is great for coding. Now, let's suppose you can think of it like a chef who can cook anything you describe but won't cook anything unless you ask them to. Next, we'll understand what is agentic AI and how is it different to generative AI. Now, imagine a personal assistant who not only listens to your goals, but also figures out the best way to reach them step by step, even when things change. Now, that's called agentic AI. Now, unlike generative AI, it's proactive. That is, it's not reactive. It starts with a goal and it perceives the environment it reasons through the problem, it takes the action, and it learns from the result. Then it repeats the cycle just like a human would. Let's look at a real-world example. Now give it a goal like buy me the cheapest new iPhone online, and it will search multiple platforms to find that one cheapest iPhone online. It will track the price drop. It will compare the delivery options, and then it will check out all by itself. You can think of self-driving cars, smart robots in warehouses, or even a smart home managing your energy use across devices. Now, we'll look at some key differences between agentic AI and uh, generative AI. So, uh, first we'll be comparing the main feature, the main function of uh, generative AI, that is it creates content, whereas an agentic AI will help in achieving that goal. Now, the nature of a generative AI is reactive. That is, it will wait for the input. So for this, you need to actually uh, give any prompt input to that AI, and then it will uh, create until and unless you don't command it to do. Whereas, an uh, agentic AI is proactive. That is, it will act on its own. You don't have to give it a input or a command or a prompt to start doing the action. It will start creating on its own. Now, uh, third is the scope. Now, generative AI uh, looks for some narrow task, one output at a time, whereas an agentic AI includes multi-step evolving task. Now, the human role of generative AI is always guiding. That is, you need to give a proper guidance to follow the steps. Then, in case of uh, agentic AI, it has got minimal involvement. You don't have to actually guide throughout. You just have to give, uh, train the model once and it will do all the tasks for you. Then we've got the learning style. Now, as we know that generative AI is all pattern based, the learning style of generative AI is pattern based. Whereas in case of agentic AI, it's goal oriented and it is context aware. Now, let me give you an analogy recap. A generative AI is like a painter who needs instruction. 
whereas an agentic ai is like a personal assistant who plans your week without being told every step i hope now you get a proper difference between an agentic ai and a generative ai let's move on to our next topic which is the real world use cases you will actually see between generative ai and agentic ai so first we'll start with generative ai now as we know this is a creator the artist the writer the designer as well as the coder now the first uh, example the real world use cases which you will see is in content creation ever read a blog post or email and thought wow that sounds too perfect to be written by a human that's probably generative ai now it help marketers and creators write newsletter blog articles product descriptions even youtube scripts like this one and it's fast consistent and can write in different tones and styles then it also helps in product designing in fashion and ux design tools powered by gen ai can generate clothing styles or app interfaces based on market trends and user preferences let's say you're a fashion brand and you can feed it customer data and it will churn out the design ideas that too in minutes then we've got personalized marketing have you ever seen an ad that feels weirdly specific to you of course that's not a coincidence that's generative ai which can personalize product suggestions it can also write custom ad copies and optimize entire campaigns based on your online behavior then we've got a uh, customer chatbots now this chatbot on a website that sounds super friendly and helpful you must be seeing a lot of customer chatbots in every i mean in any application which you use yes that's generative ai generating real time responses to your queries like refund request shipping updates or a basic faqs it also help in programming assistant now tools like github copilot can use generative ai models to help developers write code you type a comment like sort this list alphabetically and boom it will write the function for you it's like auto complete but for entire block of code now let's switch gears to agentic ai now this one doesn't just create it will act it monitors and it decides and also learn first up it is helping in healthcare monitoring now companies like propeller health are using agentic ai in smart inhalers now these devices will track your breathing patterns it will detect air quality and automatically it will alert the doctors if something is off without you lifting a finger it's like having a silent guardian watching your health in real time then it helps in logistic and delivery let's say you're running a delivery service In this case, agentic AI system can monitor live traffic, weather, and road conditions, and it can instantly reroute drivers to avoid delays. Now, this saves a lot of fuel, time, and money, all without human intervention. Then we have got in cyber security. Now, agentic AI can detect unusual network activity. It can analyze the threat and automatically trigger action to contain it before a human even knows something is wrong. That's like an AI-powered security guard that never sleeps. Then it helps in urban planning. City planners are starting to use this agentic AI to monitor the traffic flow in real time. You can imagine cameras and sensors feeding data to an AI that can adjust traffic lights, open new routes, or even trigger emergency responses on the fly. That's smart cities in action. In fintech, agentic AI can analyze market when you four by seven and adjust your investment portfolio based on real time changes. So here's the key takeaway: generative AI is amazing at creating, but agentic AI shines when it comes to doing. and the real magic is they are not mutually exclusive so you'll often see both working together like a brain and a body creating intelligent action driven system that can change how we live and how we work now this is where things really start to get interesting you see generative ai and agentic ai are in rivals in fact when they work together they can create something truly next level think of it like a dream team one's the creative brain and the other is the strategic executor let me show you what i mean by this now imagine you're creating a building or smart customer support assistant for your business now in this case agentic ai is the one steering the wheel 
it will make the decision on what to do next, maybe even pulls up the records or schedules a refund. It's the engine running the whole machine. But when it times to actually talk to the customer, here will enter the generative AI. Now what does generative AI do is, it will step in to craft and personalize polite, human-like responses turning dry data into a very warm conversation. So the agent handles the logic, actions and the generator handles the word and the tone. Or picture a robot chef in a futuristic kitchen, agentic AI is doing all the real-time work, checking the pasta is better managing timeliners and adjusting the stoves, heat, flipping pancakes at just the right time. Meanwhile, Generative AI, it's the one coming up with new recipes you never thought of. Based on your mood, ingredients in the fridge or even trending dishes online it creates. Together, this combo isn't just smart, it's intelligent and creative. They solve problems, take action and do all with the human touch. And that's the future of AI. Not just systems they can talk to or act, but systems they can think, create and do all at once. Now let's see why does it actually matters. Understanding the difference between generating and acting helps you choose the right AI tool for the job, opportunities for your career or businesses and navigate the ethical implications of autonomy like who's responsible if the mess up. So whether you're a techie, a marketer or a curious learner, knowing how these AI work can future-proof your skills and decisions. Just a quick information guys, if you're interested in mastering the future of technology, then the professional certificate course in Generative AI and Machine Learning is the perfect opportunity for you. Offered in collaboration with the Enist Academy, I, this 11-month live and interactive program provide hand-on expertise in cutting-edge areas like Generative AI, Machine Learning, tools like ChatGPT and even Hugging Face. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now. You can find the course link in the description box below and the pinned comment. Finally, let's talk about the future of AI. What does AI holds in the future? Well, the future isn't one or the other, it's both. We'll soon see hybrid AIs that can create solutions using generative AI. Execute them using agentic AI. Now imagine an AI that writes your business, plan and launches your first product autonomously. But with great power comes great responsibility. We must ensure these tools are transparent, ethical, aligned with human values. And that's where learners like you come in. So guys, stay curious and stay aware. You can like, subscribe and check out the full tutorials on Simply Learn to dive deeper. The AI future is here now and it's both creative and capable. Now if you like the video, do hit the notification bell and subscribe for more such content by Simply Learn. Thank you and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.